Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about nested loops in C. So the C programming language allows us to create nested loops or we can say a loop inside another loop like this. Now this is the syntax for nested while loop and this is the syntax for nested do while loop and this is the syntax for nested for loop. Now let us see an example. We have a pattern here with 5 stars and 5 rows and 5 columns. Now the task for us is to print this pattern on the screen. So what we can do is we can use nested loop. So we can use two for loops. The inner loop will print 5 stars like this and the outer loop will execute the inner loop 5 times. So let's see how to write this in C. So we have the main function and two integer variables i and j are declared. And we have the outer for loop for i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. So it will be executing for 5 times. And then we have the inner loop for j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5, j plus plus. Which will also execute 5 times and each time it will print a star. So first i equal to 1 and i is less than 5 so we go inside and we have j equal to 1 and j is also less than 5 so it will go inside and print a star and then j will be incremented and it will become 2. Now we have j equal to 2 and j is less than 5 so it will go inside again and print another star and j will be incremented and it will become 3. So now j equal to 3 and j is less than 5. So again the condition is true, so it will print a star and then j will be incremented and it will become 4 now. Now we have j equal to 4 and j is less than 5, so the condition is true, so it will go inside and print a star. And then j will get incremented and it will become 5. Now we go for the next iteration and we have j equal to 5 and j is equal to 5, so condition is still true. So it prints a star and then j will be incremented and it becomes 6. Now when it checks this condition whether j is less than or equal to 5, it is not satisfied. So the control comes out of the for loop and prints a new line character. And now it will increment i and i will become 2 now. So the first iteration of the outer loop is completed and what we got is a row of 5 stars. Now i equal to 2 and i is less than 5 so the condition is true so it goes for the second iteration and in a similar way it prints another row of 5 stars and it will print a new line character and it will increment i. Now i equal to 3 and again condition holds so inner loop will work and print third row of stars and go to next line and increment i. So now i equal to 4 and condition is still true. So the inner loop will work and print 4th row of stars and go to next line and it will increment i. Now i has become 5 and again condition holds since i equal to 5. So inner loop will work and it will print the next row of stars and go to next line and increment i. And now i becomes 6. Now the condition fails and comes out of the loop and returns 0. So the inner loop will print a row of 5 stars in each iteration of outer loop and it will have 5 iterations. So 5 rows of 5 stars will be printed as the output. Hi guys, now you can get a lot of features in the official log to base 2 website. Easy registration and login process. And once you log in, you can access a lot of amazing courses. You can watch the visual tutorials. You can see the examples, solve puzzles and finally practice problems. All in a single page. Visit www.log2base2.com where learning is fun and beautiful. And don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this.